Welcome to the Best Coast Shire Council Report, your weekly update on council news and events. Hi, I'm Lauren Grills. And I'm Steve Fury. Welcome to this week's show where we'll be talking with Council's Park Supervisor Richard Clarkson about all the works happening in preparation for Anzac Day ceremonies around the Shire. But first, an update on Council's Waste Services Tender. Thanks, Lauren. As one of the core functions of Council, we often get asked what's happening with Waste Services in Bass Coast. And it's commonly asked because it's a service that affects just about every household. As many of you may know, back in January, we advertised tenders for the operation and management of Council's Waste Services and facilities for the next 10 years. So what exactly does that mean Steve? Well there are two separate waste services contracts being tendered. The first one is for waste services which includes curbside garbage, recycling and organics collection and haulage, hard waste collection and public litter bins while the second contract involves the management and operations of transfer stations and landfill sites. So basically one contract involves the trucks that empty your rubbish bins every week and the other is how your waste is managed when it's dropped off at our local transfer stations and at the Grantville landfill site. With council going out to tender for waste services what are some of the potential changes Council is considering? Well, during the development of the Waste Management Strategy last year, the 2015 one, we received a lot of feedback and public interest from the community. Council listened to that feedback and as a result has included actions identified in that strategy in the tender documents. So it gives us the chance to test the market. New initiatives could include the establishment of a waste transfer station on Phillip Island, operations of a resale shop at the Wonthaggy Transfer Station and and a new curbside food and organics collection. The provision of a waste transfer transfer station on Phillip Island has been a point of interest for many years, so Council will be looking forward to seeing what options are presented for consideration. What are the next steps with the tender process, Steve? Well, firstly, Council is going to consider all tender responses in accordance with its procurement policy and the Local Government Act, that's a given, and it has also appointed a probity advisor to help with that process because these are very significant contracts, both in importance and size. Council will then consider awarding the contracts to the preferred tenderers at its ordinary meeting in August. August this year. The successful tenderers will then prepare for the start of their contracts over the next 12 months to make sure any service transitions are managed smoothly as the new contracts will start in September 2017. This preparation will include a new fleet of garbage trucks as well as the possible implementation of a food and garden organics collection. Moving on, the Victorian Council elections will be held on the 22nd of October this year. The state government has introduced a discussion paper with proposed changes to ensure the elections are fair and inclusive. You are encouraged to have your say on the proposed changes by making a submission to the government by the 6th of May this year. Visit our Facebook page for the link to the discussion paper and information on how to make a submission. I'm joined by our Park Supervisor Richard Clarkson to tell us what his team have been doing to get ready for the Anzac Day ceremonies. Welcome Richard. Thanks Steve. Uh, Richard, the work that the Parks team does is one of the most visible to the community and in particular we've got half a dozen Anzac Day ceremonies across the Shire this weekend. Now, how, how do you guys go about getting ready for it? I'm assuming it's more than just a quick mow of the grass the day before? You're right there. We actually started about a month ago with mowing. We do that so the grass gets to just the right height so when we mow it just before Anzac Day, we don't have those ugly lines of cut grass all over the ground. They're called windrows. Farmers would know what I mean. And it would be worse, of course, if the wind blew it all over the place too. What else do you do closer to the day? The guys and girls from the parks team pressure wash the cenotaphs themselves, as well as any statues and concrete areas around them. We also check lighting at the sites and make any repairs so they're ready for the dawn services. Yeah, the gardens themselves always look great on the day too, don't they? Yeah, we put a lot of work into these, watering the areas around the cenotaphs, we inspect the trees and clear any fallen branches. We also mulch the garden beds and replace any plants if we need to. We really want all the sites to look their best. Yeah, now the Wonthaggy Men's Shed made a number of wooden crosses for last year's 100th Anzac Day. Are they being used again? Absolutely. They're a nice touch and we'll be placing them in formation around the one thaggy site for Monday service. The other services are at Bass, Cows, Imbalock and Comwack and there's one on Sunday at San Remo. And we have a link on the homepage of our website for those ceremonies on our event calendar so we encourage everyone to come along and pay their respects. Thanks for coming in. No worries Steve, thanks for having me. That's about all we've got time for this week. As always, if you have any questions or need more information about anything we've mentioned give us a call on 1300 Beak Coast that's 1300 226 278 or 0356 71 2211. You can also keep up to date on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Bass Coast Shire or follow us on Twitter at Bass Coast and we'll catch you next week for more council news. The Bass Coast Shire Council Report is broadcast on Tuesday mornings at 9.30, Thursday afternoons at 4.30 and on Saturday mornings at 10 on your community station 3MFM. Audio and transcript is also available from our website bassecoast.vic.gov.au.